Well, I first saw a picture in a magazine of a little old man with glasses on the end of his nose, uh, holding a slide rule in his hand. Uh, that he must have come from the Black Forest in Germany, and he said he built the best engines in the world. As far as my decision to choose a Victor engine, I didn't do it casually. I explored it pretty thoroughly, and I came to Victor Aviation Service, and, and Victor Sloan showed me how good his engines were, and an engine airplane like this Aztec and in a Bonanza that was uh, at an installation of his and I was impressed. Price is always a consideration when you're purchasing something and when you're buying something and uh, in the case of the Victor engine I at my age I understand that you get what you pay for. What I know is unique about what Victor does with his engines is that he pays a lot of attention to details that have long been forgotten since we started to mass-produced factory engines and that have long been lost in the pressures of economics in a lot of the overhaul shops. You can always tell a mechanic by the sharpness of his screwdrivers how good he is. And Victor's shop has sharp screwdrivers. Scott Crossfield flew his plane from Virginia to Victor Aviation in Palo Alto because he knows the details that go into a Victor overhaul. 